Casa Torino here. I'm going to give you a, uh, an update on the latest progress. It's been a few weeks, but we've got a lot in store to show. Here's a panorama of the, the build site as it stands now. The crew has been busy putting up a lot of the structure, meaning the fiber board, the concrete fiber board, hardy flex that sandwiches the, the metalite framing as you prepare to pour the concrete. So one of the first places they hit was the master bedroom and I'll take a walk around there and show you what it looks like. What was kind of interesting to me is that the the fiber board, the Hardy Flex, changes color once the uh, concrete is poured inside it and I, I, you know, it becomes darker and I think that's because of the moisture but what I'm curious about is if it if it changes back to a light color once it's cured. Here I am inside the master bedroom. You see, I mean if you stand back here this lower level almost looks like if you didn't know there was fiberboard there it almost looks like like bare concrete you know after you would re remove your forms and then the section above it it's poured already you see how it's changed color and then the the top section there hasn't been poured yet so that's more of an eggshell white and then you get to more of a dirty <laughs> I don't know what to call it, dirty uh, ivory <laughs> but then down here maybe is a uh, what looks like you know if you asked me is the final product which is your your bare concrete of course it's not it's the fiberboard but it takes on that appearance so as they w as they make their way up I've been kind of frantically running around with my sharpie and pointing out where I want outlets that I, f that I forgot or just didn't put on my blueprint and, uh, and they're always always Johnny on the spot with the electricians pretty good here they normally take it up the next day or the day after everything I write on the wall and our foreman, really good foreman here too. The uh, you can see I put wall fan, but I, I want it up a little bit more. You've seen some of this already, but this this has been poured. They've been pouring up to chest height here in the master in the master bedroom closet, and working in the CR there, plumbing. I'm walking through the master bedroom hallway and that discoloration is kind of cool. I, it's going to be able to tell me exactly what's been poured and what's not. You can, you can hear that, right? There's the miniature comfort room here and then yeah, we had a little uh, miscommunication inside the office but I think everything is going to work out. What happened was I originally wanted my three section ser uh, server rack right here. Maybe two. Let's, let's call it two section server rack. I don't think I'll ever have that much equipment. But I wanted plenty of power right here. And uh, I came in in the morning and it was already poured. I think it was my fault because I didn't write it clearly enough. But not to worry, I mean, we just, we came in and talked with the foreman and I said, well, I might put it here then, you know, so give me some, a lot of power here and some Cat 6. And then also, uh, you know, maybe I'll put it here. So I got two more spaces to decide where I want to put those racks. And then on, you know, as you come in the office on your right side, I think I'll have a, a monitor, not for TV, just for displaying information that, you know, that I want to see uh, network-wise. 
could be the closed circuit TV, could be uh, just information uh, on my firewall and stuff like that that I want to just look at a, at a glance. And then I made some uh, notes to myself and also to them that I want a, a wall fan. Sometimes they take my notes literally. <laughs> I put wall fan and emergency light and I, with my arrow and they put an outlet right there. But that's too low for a fan. It needs to be up more. No. But I'll take it anywhere I can get power. In an office is good. What they're gonna they're gonna do here is put some recessed outlets, the kind that you kind of you kind of push a button and it pops up. So one there, one there, and like the desk will be in the middle. Yeah. So I'm not gonna put my monitor on a wall. My main monitor. My main monitor is gonna be on my desk, right, but just about right here. And uh, behind me, there's it's going to be a L-shaped uh, balcony. So this is the office. It's it's looking good here in the office. And I walk past the main entrance here. I put a note that I want to have a bug zapper above every door that leads to the outside, because that's when uh, most of the time, you know, when you open a door or close a door, the bugs come in. You know. And, wherever they go hopefully they go up and hit the zapper but this is the main entrance area here living room I told them uh, go crazy with this you know 60 inch TV here probably so plenty of power for that and I told them here's another hint you know uh, especially if you want to put a TV on the wall, make sure you got an outlet behind the TV because you don't want to, you don't want that ugliness of the power cord coming down the wall. Just make sure you got outlets behind the TV. Air conditioning. Again, these will all be windows, folding, folding type of windows or sliders. I'm not sure yet. And he started pouring the, the kitchen walls here. Coming around. Probably going to have a refrigerator here. The stove will be in the middle. We're going to have an exhaust all the way to the outside. Lots of cabinet space. And center island will be right here. We're going to have water and drain in the center island with plenty of electric as well. So here's probably the most the most interesting part. I saw this last week and I'm like, you know, if, if Metalite just took took a picture of what I'm looking at right now, they could they could uh, avoid a lot of questions. So check this out. I mean, really what you're looking at here is a perfect explanation of what Metalite is. It's kind of a cutaway. So you got your Hardy Flex fiber board concrete fiber concrete fiber board here that's your form the only difference is it, it it stays with your build this becomes your interior walls and exterior walls and here in these openings inside your metal framing is where your concrete goes so and this is it it's just you know it, it was confusing to me as well when I first heard about it, but if if I saw this picture, I would I would immediately know what they're talking about. Here's a shot above my shoulder, looking back uh, of the pool deck. There are a lot of the building focus has been on interior walls right now. As soon as we, you know, get get these first floor walls poured, Mentalite team is coming back to assemble the second floor. So that's the big push right now. I, I hope these videos help you uh, make some decisions or at least find out some information about what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. If you want to follow me some more, hit the like button and subscribe. Leave me a comment, you know, because I, I don't give very many comments. I, I wake up in the morning and I say, well, hopefully uh, someone's asking a question. You know, this can't be going that, that good. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's off the table, so go ahead and ask. 
Uh, be sure to check out my other playlists. I've been working on the Chateau Deef. That's our spring house at the bottom of the hill. And I do a lot of other stuff uh, with motorcycles as well, and there's playlists for that. So check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.